Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the range A is uh, used to hold the pipe in a stationary position, while range B uh, is used to tighten the elbow fitting. So if FB is equal to 150, determine the magnitude of the moment produced by this force about the y-axis. Also, what is the magnitude of uh, the force FA in order to counteract this moment? And in the second case, the range A is used to hold the pipe in a stationary position, while uh, range B is used to tighten the elbow fitting, determine the magnitude of the force FP in order to develop a torque of 50 newton meters about the y axis, and also what is the required magnitude of FA in order to counteract this moment. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by RC Bella. All right, so let's start with case. One, which is four dash six four. All right, so we have been asked to find uh, the magnitude of the moment produced by the y axis q to FB, and also what the magnitude of FA is in order to counteract this moment. All right, so we have a number of ways to solve this one, of which is we have the range there, which is our moment arm. So we can directly get a component which is perpendicular to the range. Let's call that as uh, that is one component, and uh, that is another component down there. All right. So if this is perpendicular, perpendicular like so, this is the angle between that. Then we expect this angle there, this one here, to be equal to that's 90 minus uh, 120 minus 90, which is 30. All right. And if that, that is the case, therefore, FB, FB becomes equal to uh, sine 30. And then this one becomes FB cos 30. All right, so let's work out the first one. So we'll say a moment about the y axis due to FB. Okay, this is due to FB uh, is equal to, um, since using the right hand thumb rule, this will produce a negative moment. So we'll say minus uh, FB. Uh, cos 30 times the lever arm which is 0 0.3 okay and since our FB is equal to uh, our FB is equal to 150 newtons so replace this value we're going to replace it here we'll replace this value there and once we do so, then we'll find that our moment, uh, our moment due to FB is going to be equal to minus uh, 150 uh, cos 30 times 0.3. So this gives us, gives us a 38.9 seven newton meters okay and then what is the force counteracting it so say moment before we do so let's find this force so we just need a component also that is perpendicular to the lever arm in our case that case let's say this is perpendicular something like that direction of the force perpendicular okay there we go something like that and then we are saying uh, this is perpendicular it is going to be like that 
So if that is the case, therefore this angle here, this angle here is 135 minus 19. This is a 45 degrees. And if that is the case, then we expect FA here to be equal to FA cos 45. And this one as FA sine 45 all right then my this is a counteracting moment due to fa this one is going to be producing using the right hand thumb rule to be producing a positive moment which will be equal to uh fa cos 45 times the river arm which is 0.3 okay and since we already know the moment that we are counteracting is equal to 38.97 and therefore fa is just going to be equal to 38.97 divided by 0.3 Cos 45, this gives us a 183.71 newtons. So, this is the force that we need to produce a counteracting moment. All right, 183.71. Then let's go to case number two, which is 4 dash. 65 what do we have here we've been given a talk about the y-axis and we've been asked to find the moment i mean the force fb that will develop that particular talk so the same equations the same equations so moment about the y-axis due to fb is equal to minus fb cos 30 times the lever arm which is 0.3 and the moment is already given and it's a negative moment okay 15 therefore uh, fb that will produce that moment will be equal to um, 50 divided by 0.3 uh, cos 13 this gives us a 192.45 right is that so okay so we have been asked mm -hmm. is a fifth that mean this so it is 15 divided by 0.3 cos 30 that's 192.45 right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay um then what is the counteracting fa what is the required magnitude of FA to counteract this moment? Again, it's moment due to FB, FA equal to this one will give us a positive using the right hand thumb rule. Okay, so this will be FA uh, cos 45 times 0 0.3 equal to a positive moment and therefore fa will give us 50 divided by 0.3 cos 45 it's giving us a 235.70 newtons okay uh 50 divided by 0.3 cos 45 235.70 so let me just outline the solutions so we have the moment 
produced by the force FB. Okay. And then we have the, the, the force FA that will counteract that moment in the first case. Then in the second case, the moment is given, then we found the force that will produce that particular moment. And uh, this FA is the force that will counteract that produced moment by FB. Right, this is about it. This is about it and I hope the video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.